record. Good evening, morning, afternoon, depending where you are in the world. Welcome to Equipping Heaven Dwellers this evening. Um, we today are going to be engaging the last of the seven spirits and the portals of the um, energy centers in our bodies. And tonight we will be engaging with the spirit of the Lord. And <clears throat> I'd like to encourage all those that are with us to um, activate their senses of smell, touch, um, sight, and emotional senses as we engage. And whatever you see, smell, taste, experience, while we are engaging, please feel free to share that as it incorporates and helps us to understand the depth of where we're going. And I'd like to encourage us just to start off by breathing in and out a few times and just focusing ourselves on the spirit of the Lord and just allow ourselves to engage there in that realm. And I'm going to switch my video off for that. Breathe in, breathe out just several times and just focus on that. I just heard the sound of like like thunder, but it was um, the thunder was was very uh, mellow, if I can put it that way. 
And as I was listening to it, I thought, you know what, I, this is just confirming to me the nature of the lordship or dominion um, of Yahweh. That it is, it is not sharp. It is very uh, full of grace and mercy and a gentleness. But but um, it's the yeah, atmosphere of of the of the government of the spirit of the Lord that the spirit of the Lord teaches us, showing us that government is of heaven is not sharp. It is is very it is not harsh. It is very just gentle and reassuring and sure. That just confirms and resonates with what I was getting as well. I was actually seeing the frequency in color and I was hearing the frequency of red as a sort of low um, resonance that just had sort of a peace and um, tranquility about it. And I was just sort of meditating on that, what I was seeing. And I got the impression that as we focus on the frequency of each of the spirits so it releases an understanding and a depth of where we are going with that spirit and i'm absolutely seeing these sort of um the spirit of the lord being a frequency of um bringing in a and a softness and just bringing us to that place of knowing who we are I also just got is that as we see these seven gates, the spirit of the Lord is the en entry. It's the gate, it's the energy gate that opens up to everything else in the realms of the spirit. Very simply and basically, what I interpret what Michelle said is just um, no judgment. I think something that was, is coming to me when you said that, Debbie, is that just seeing Jesus or Father or Holy, just seeing them, they don't have to say anything. <laughs> just their very presence, you know, judges us to life. So if you want to talk about it's not a judgment. Judgment of Yahweh is not like I'm telling you that you're wrong and this is why you're. It, it's just their very being. It, it, it judges us. And um, so that every sense of fear or condemnation or shame or anything like that has no, has, is, is just like gone in the very presence of Yahweh. Yeah. Debbie, that's absolutely amazing as well that you, what you saw there and what you were saying, Michelle. As prior to coming on this e evening, I was just dwelling and meditating on a few things. And one of the things the Spirit of the Lord, in fact, was showing me was that judgment is not how we've understood it according to the worldly principles. But judgment is where we rightly define through the eyes of the spirit 
and God and our Father's love, who we are and who others are, seeing them as new creation beings, constantly understanding and knowing that they are one with Father just as we are one with Father and that our judgment is always to life and in righteousness and love. What are others getting at the moment? Please feel free to share, um, even if it seems different to what has already been shared. John said, just before Michelle shared about the judgments of the Lord, I had become aware of being in the throne room. Thanks, John. I'm sorry, did mine get hurt? I don't know if I had mute or unmute on it. Didn't hear you, Linda. May I share? Sure. Okay, what I was seeing is from the beginning till now, these stitch stitches, if you've ever sewn or seen sewing of a quilt, I'm seeing the stitches, they're three lines deep, going across like the top of a quilt and then down like you would make boxes, but the boxes are what you see in front of you. So there's no fabric there. So all I see is the stitching. The stitching is very soft, like thick cotton, um, even the bedding of the cotton. And I feel like this is oneness that I'm looking at and all the peace and love and joy that I'm looking for to be protected by his love, you know, contentment in him. And, and it's just very beautiful. Thank you. Wow, that's lovely. Thank you, Linda. Yes, you're welcome. For some reason, the uh, what Linda just said about the stitching, it's basically a needle going in and then going out. Um, what I saw the whole time was a, um, it's almost like a wave, you know, when you teach a very small child to follow a, um, a pattern and the pattern is like waves, uh, almost like, um, um, I don't know how to explain it, but it's basically just waves. So it's going up and down and up and down. And it's got this, um, it's, I know it's to do with frequency. Um, I was, um, unfortunately I was carried out or, you know, with a, with a internet. So when I came back, I wasn't exactly sure where we were. So I just said, okay, Lord, take me. And I felt his arms around me. And as we were traveling, it was going up and down and up and down. Um, and that reminds me of the quilt and the, and the stitching of that pattern. Um, you know, where you, you use the, the, the um, Anyway, I don't know how to explain it, but I, I think you got the picture. Yes, thank you. That's good. Thank you, Lisa. When you said that, what came to me also, uh, Lisa, was the 
the sense of the um, the security of of the of the government of the Lord. It's uh, it also reminded me of that rhythm, the rhythm of the heart, which is so consistent. And the other thing that came to me also to do with the stitches and the and the waves was it just reminded me about how all things consist together in Christ. Everything is connected. So, Thank you. That was beautifully said. That's exactly what I felt. Yes. Yes, and I was seeing it as oneness, so that's similar to saying. So I've been seeing like an hourglass, basically, and the shape of it is standing out how there's like a center. And that just brings to mind, brings to mind the double helix sign, uh, the double helix with the center in it, too. Um, and it has something to do with time or the movement of time, I believe. I'm not sure. What I believe you seeing there, which is something I've been sensing throughout this entire series on the spirit, um, the seven spirits are before the throne, is that as we engage and flow with the spirit, we are released to understand times and seasons and how we are to operate in each time and season. Sands of time did come to my mind. And also what I've been just getting as we're flowing together, when we were speaking about the stitching, I actually saw the sort of stitching looping through each portal of the energy gates and showing us that even though there are seven gates, they, are, we're, they all operate as one as we flow with them. Yes, I like that, Dimitri. Also, uh, the Spirit of the Lord, you know, I've heard others say, and I, I do agree with it's part of the function of the Spirit of the Lord, uh, facilitates or helps us to experience translations and transportations. That all has to do with time as well. You know, the, the understanding, I believe, of engaging time is that we can be in two places at the same time. Uh, and we can be carried, you know, places. Um, it all it connects also with time. Uh, that, that helps me because a lot of times, there will be one thing going on that I can see. You know, you're getting ready to go out the door to go a particular place. But I find myself in more than one place at a time, but usually it's multidimensional. But I've never like questioned or knew what to question because there was so much going on, yet I feel calm and at peace. But I might forget where I was going. I know that might sound strange, but it just happened today. So for a very long time, a couple of years, I have felt like I was in a multidimensional space and time, but I'm hoping and thanking God that he will show me how to deal with it and what to do and what to put aside and what to focus on. Thank you. The thing that comes to mind, Linda, just after you spoke or while you were speaking is fear, fear of time. And that's something we need to remove ourselves from um, because time is on our side and um, we are multi-dimensional multi and we can move in any time, in any place. Um, we have access to absolutely everything, but that's just what came to mind to me. I'd love to see a group doing that. 
doing what, Debbie? Practicing moving in and out of time, time travel, being in two places at once, all of that. We have done this a little bit before. I would love to um, be like that too. As we were engaging now as well, I was just sort of specifically engaging into the Spirit of the Lord and saying, Spirit of the Lord, what do you desire us and where do you desire us? It just said to me that as you have come to understand each facet of the seven spirits and how their frequencies flow in harmony, I will take you on a journey of understanding and entering in to operating corporately on multi-dimensions. You know, I, I think that uh, we move in, it, in and out of time and we don't even realize it. Um, and I also think we do it in, um, in our groups together. Uh, you know, when people share things, um, there are times I feel that uh, they're seeing it from a different place, you know, a different dimension, but yes, a, even a different time, mostly um, uh, in the future. So I just, you know, I just wanted to, to share that um, because it's, it, it's not hard to do at all. You can just do it with your will. And you can also do it, like I said, um, I think we, we work in that, we move in that at times and don't even realize it. That's so true, Jill. Um, I was just gonna say, Lisa, what you said when you shared that with Linda, I really sensed that that was the spirit of the Lord speaking through you to Linda. So I. I want to just say that when we do get something and we want to say, I think possibly what we would, what it would be good to say is that this is what I'm getting because we are engaging with the spirit of the Lord. This is what I'm getting from the spirit of the Lord, right? I just want to encourage everyone on that. And obviously we honor the spirit of the Lord. Obviously we, we love and embrace the spirit of the Lord. So we love and honor and embrace your spirit of the Lord. And we do thank you for not even realizing how you've been ministering through us, with us. But now we just want to actively really have a relationship with you consciously as well. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And uh, as Lisa said, I, I don't, agree that I am in the fear when I have all that happen. She said, I'm now stepping in awareness of that I am in more than one dimension. Because I have done the same thing that I was just saying within our meetings, but it's happening outside of the meetings when I am solitary and I'm not getting anything with it. Just knowing that I'm interdimensional, therefore it's hard to focus on the one thing that I was wanting to get done, you know? Thank you. Yeah, and I do see that as something that we learn to, um, you know, we learn to be aware of and flow with. So, yeah. Well, so my thought is since it's all happening already, maybe it, it'd probably be a sense to just get together and fly together and, and be aware of it at the same time. I know this is off topic. I don't think it's off topic at all, Debbie. I think if there's a desire, um, as I said, we've done this before. You know, if there's a desire for us to engage together, we can just, um, we can say, we can, what we've done in the past is we've picked someone on the group and we said, let's all go there to where they are. And then let's just share what we see. We've never been to that person's house or wherever they are, but we'll go there together with the spirit of the Lord in translation, and then we'll share what we see, uh, what we hear, and they will be able to confirm it and say, that's true. (laughs) (laughs) 
I get the sense that um, this whole time subject is um, actually much bigger than we've ever realized. Well, me personally, specifically, um, I am, you know, in 2022 at the moment, this, this is where I'm sitting, this is where I'm at. Um, but I do think that God wants us to be so free and so close in intimacy with him that we can live in any time. In other words, um, you can be any age, at any any age in life, if I can put it that way, um, in any place. And we need to open ourselves up just to say, yes, Lord, I'll go with you because I still feel his arms around me as he's taken me through this journey. We need to flow with him and just say, yes, Lord. So don't be... Uh, you know, I think our minds have put us in a in a box saying that we are living in 2022 in whichever country we are living at. Um, but I think we need to open ourselves up to say we are spiritual beings and we can be in any time, in any place, wherever God wants us to be. That's just what came up to me. I think you're really right about that. It's uh, like just do this and believe, expect the unexpected, basically, not just going to somebody's house even. But yeah, there's just so much more. We probably put walls around the whole subject and topic. Yeah, well, I just wanted to, I mean, that is just an example of something to actively do together. But what we've been doing all along, engaging in the heavens realms and going places together, that we didn't even know we were going to go to you know we just said okay holy spirit where are we going and then we found we were going someplace that's all part of being translated uh in the heavenly realms so we've been doing it really all, a lot mm -hmm. um yes. it is something there is something of a confirmation that does happen if you go translate to a place where someone is and you're able to share things that you're seeing, hearing, you know, that that actually they are able to confirm it and say, this is right. Because uh, remember, our translations and transportations are, are into the heavenly realms as well as uh, into the nation. So so we could go, we go across into the to to places in the earth as well as the realms and dimensions of heaven. Something that's just coming to me as we're speaking about this, which I believe is the Spirit of the Lord just encouraging us, is as we um, focus, allow the Spirit of the Lord to bring you to a place of focus and actually see if you translate to a place or with somebody or with a, somebody on the group right now and see if they actually experience you in their presence without you telling them them you were there. So as we're going along here, I already see two of the realms that I'm in that are, anyway, there are certain realms where I'm at. And then I see the higher realm when I'm in the heavenlies and the door is open. So I don't know what others are seeing or sensing. I was thinking uh, just to go back to what you said, Dimitri. Uh, would you, you know, what do you think? Shall we, shall we do that as a yes, group? I was thinking, do that. Let's so don't pick somebody that we're going to visit. You and yourself decide. Okay, I'm going to that person, and then as we, as the group. Just focus together with the Spirit of the Lord. See if you're experiencing somebody in your sphere, in your space. And then that'll give us more of an a idea of 
that'll encourage us to actually know that we are moving multidimensionally in the spirit, traveling in the spirit again. Because it's a spirit of Lord, um, who often will take us to different places. I've already been sensing two people have been popping in here. And then we can share. You know, what we've, we can share where we felt someone joined us. Yes. It's going into a whole different dimension of what we've previously done. Spirit of the Lord is showing me something interesting. He's showing me as multidimensional beings, we can actually experience being with more than one person simultaneously to show us how time and space is actually at our disposal. And right now I'm feeling myself with three different people on the group. I'm seeing the same thing. I'm seeing myself in a circle with people that are within their uh, area that they're in and uh, interconnecting with them, yet they're still at the other place. So we can be two places at once or multiple places at once. I visited you, Dimitri. <laughs> yeah. You know, this is fun. You know, I think let's remember the Holy Spirit and the seven spirits, Father, Jesus, every place. It's all about fun, right? Because in his presence, fullness of joy at his right hand, pleasures forevermore. We children, we just coming by faith like little children. So, you know, if I can put it this way, get in the game and share what you get. It's, it's okay, right? Good. <laughs> I, I agree there. I actually felt, Linda, you, you were here. And I felt that Michelle was here with me. And I also felt that um, Lisa had just touched in on here, but then zipped out again. Uh, yes, I agree. <laughs> Michelle? I just went to where you are. I'm not sure where else you were, but that's where you were. And guess what? You were feeding little children and you were showing them about engaging. Wow. Now that's a different dimension of me, Linda. <laughs> wow. Okay. But it's true. It's what, it's what I do. do, do I do that. I mean, I happen to know that, but I actually wasn't thinking about going there, but that's uh -huh. where I saw of you, and it was just beautiful. Yeah. You were reaching yeah. down to feed some little children in another country, mm -hmm. and then you were teaching like I suppose you do online, but that might be multiculture too. Mm -hmm. And the places that I'm seeing, there's such peace and joy and love, mm -hmm. acceptance and gratitude and just gratefulness that we're together. Yeah. I'm visiting with two other people right now. Uh, that's interesting what I'm seeing, but I'll share with that with you in a, a little while. Let's see if you actually pick up who, who I'm with. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, Liza, I just visited you and your mom. We're together chatting. Someone may be saying, okay, well, I don't know how this is working. So uh, all I can say is that you just, it's a thought. You think it and you're there, right? That's how you do it. You just, you just like your heart just goes there. 
Yeah, when I see things, my heart takes me there. So I don't use the thinking part. But that's not doesn't mean it's not part of the process. But the Lord just shoots from my heart outward and shoots a film of the actuality of the reality. Liza, your mother is drawing a painting of me. That's so awesome. It's very possible. So I, I purposely went to Debbie's, Debbie's place and, uh, you know, the last, I, the last picture I had of her was that she was in her seat, but I, I f saw myself sitting on the arm of that and just, and hugging her and saying, I love you in your ear, Debbie. And then I zipped on over to Dimitri and kind of gave him a high five and uh, told him I liked his hair. <laughs> and now I'm, back with... <laughs> now I'm back. I like your hair too, Dimitri. <laughs> uh, I was also over at Debbie a moment ago and I got the impression that Debbie was sort of trying to figure out on how to move into this dimension herself with uh, and how to, how to visit with some of us. Uh, Debbie, you've already focused on trying to be here, and I've seen you here. I'll put my attention on that now. <laughs> I'm giving the whole group a big hug, one at a time. What about some of you others who haven't shared anything yet? Let me first just say that um, both Zoe and Grace, um, it feels weird, weird to me in a certain sense because, you know, you just show up. I didn't just want to show up. I really want to um, honor you um, and both of your places where I came, I just felt me washing your feet just in honor and reverence in a certain sense. So I don't know if you feel anything about that. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, I felt like a refreshing. So that was was uh, was confirmation. I think I was also stepping in. I, I dipped in to see Debbie <laughs> and give her an embrace to bring her into um, a, a fire, you know, like a beautiful purple flame. And then I stepped in to see Sharon because I had a real desire to just touch touch with her um, because Sharon and I know each other really well and and we haven't spoken for a little see, while we can see over here let's just see yeah sorry guys I didn't know I was unmuted <laughs> that's okay <laughs> I was just it's the way you flit it out of people's lives. But um, I was just seeing Sharon and um, there again, I was, I, I've been painting a bit today and in my painting, there's lots of blue and purple colors. And I was just seeing that whole atmosphere um, just in 
as I stepped into Sharon's <laughs> into Sharon's um, place, it was like I was bringing those colours uh, and just wrapping around her with those colours and that frequency. Um, so that was that was lovely. I, I'm in a place at the moment where I have very few words. It's like I've gone into a dimension which has it it hasn't got words. And so I'm, I'm, I've been spending a lot of time just in the depth and the breadth where there are no words and, or I have no words, like a little child really, which is before it has words. And so I was kind of bringing in the frequency of where I'm at rather than, rather than words. Well, Zoe, you were the first one I went to, and we just gave each other a big hug, and it was like our hearts were joined together. And the blue and the purple, those are my colors. I mean, those are colors I like and wear a lot anyway. But um, yeah, and then I popped into Dimitri, and also to Eloisa, and I just felt, um, I just released love to Eloisa because that's what I was really feeling for her, um, and just to, an encouragement because I felt like she, she is an overcomer, and she has overcome a lot, and she has more that she will overcome because Eloisa is an overcomer. Thank you, sister. Sharon, Sharon, as you said that, that was interesting because I was visiting Eloisa and I actually saw you there as well. And I thought, Sharon, we're connected. And then I sort of felt you in my presence. I'm not sure where I am, but for a few minutes, I've been seeing like a bluish, like blue purple ring, I would say, color. It's beautiful. It's like electric and I was feeling like it was Zoe or Sharon. I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm not sure where I am, but it, it feels peace, very peaceful, very good. Oh, that's beautiful. And beyond words, I think is a very good place to be. Yes, I Very yes. good, very ascended or whatever it would be called. I just had a vivid stroke of the color purple, light, lighter blue was beside it. They come up over me, but not touching me and looked at my face. There was a face to the purple and there was a face to the blue. It was like they were greeting me. And I said, hello. I also don't have a list of people to say that I've seen you because I'm on the phone, but hello everyone. And I want to visit every one of you. It's so amazing in a certain sense because I'm, um, I was thinking about the three people that was not, um, uh, it was Laurel, it was uh, Linda um, Andrade, and um, John Lee. And um, I just imagined us all 
um, going to them together and almost running around them. It was uh, it was like a game of hot, hopscotch or it's a game of us running around them and, um, you know, calling them and um, not necessarily calling them out, but you understand what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's a game. And um, I just felt as, you know, going to them as well and just surrounding them and running around them in a circle. Um, it's beautiful. I love that. I also saw us all uh, with John and just surround him in, in a circle, actually. Um, and uh, just so the, the friendship and um, honor towards him. And I've been engaging with Arabella for a while. And uh, so, but if that's not uncommon because my heart goes there. <laughs> anyway. Let's get back to what we originally said. Tell the people who you believe have been with you who's been there as a confirmation. Don't tell them who you've gone to. Tell the people who you feel has visited you who's been with you. Good. Uh, John, I see you having popped over to me for a while as well. And I also saw Eloisa coming over this side. Yes. Uh, and, uh, <clears throat> I've also seen Laurel popping here, and then I went with her somewhere as well. Well, that's also interesting. Bit, Dimitri, because um, the way we've done it, when, when we've shared where we've gone, um, doesn't necessarily mean that the people we've gone to actually said that they, that they saw us with them. <laughs> yes. So I wonder what that is, because my first, uh, my first sense of anybody with me was Jill was with me. And Jill didn't say anything about being with me. <laughs> when you say you've felt the person with you, it's for them to confirm that they've been there. That's my point. Jill didn't confirm that. <laughs> For some reason, I see the Lord um, covering us with his cloak. It's like he's got this huge cloak around him and he's just covering us with it. So uh, is, it in, is it a purple cloak that you see? Yes, it was dark of color. Purple sounds right, yes. I see John Lee said amen to our con um, comment earlier, the way that which we said of popping over and so forth. <clears throat> I saw a cloak much earlier too. It was dark for sure. So maybe I think maybe I don't have this accurate, but the earliest person I felt um, with me was actually Dimitri. Maybe not very long, but just like a brief. Uh, I was, you were the first, you were one of the first people I visited, Linda. Okay, yeah. So I <laughs> I felt that. Um, unfortunately, I've had a lot of distractions 
going on around me, but I will like in the natural realm. And then early on, I think it was more symbolic, but I saw Linda as if like she was sitting in front of a table or a desk. And I just saw like a protective dome around her, but it was like of light. It was like her light, like God was doing something about, he guards her with his government through her light, his light in her or something is kind of what I sensed. So I saw this like right, almost like a rainbow, but it was light around her. Um, I know I'm kind of making up for lost time. And then the only other thing I saw was I, I felt like I was navigating like these soft colors, like cotton candy color, like soft colors, like looked like cotton candy almost. And I realized I was in a sunset with all like the muted colors of the seven spirits of like the rainbow. They're very muted. And then I was like, I felt that was all of us. Like I was just experiencing our harmony. You know, it's not as not as with as much intention as these individual and smaller group encounters, but I felt like all of us harmonizing. And I just felt it was really cool that it was as a sunset. It was like as a sunset. So I was thinking of the words, heaven, sunset, you know, heavenlies and sunset, like setting on the earth. And so I don't know, it's just kind of interesting. That's beautiful, Andrea. Um, Arabella, uh, when you were speaking about the sunsets now, I actually heard semitone frequencies mixed with muted colors, which is also just the same as we are joining together. We are the semitone frequencies between each of the bold colors. That's cool. I'd have to hear you unpack that more sometime, but that's really cool. I like that. And Lisa, when you said that you saw you guys like playing around us, um, kind of like a hopscotch or some sort of game, it kind of reminded me like the heart behind it was kind of like hide and seek you know, kind of playing hide and seek, like we were all kind of somewhere else hidden. <laughs> and you guys were like, come on, I found you. And, but it was a game, you know, it was just a unique, playful game is how I experienced what you shared. It was really sweet. It was really pretty. Well, that's what we've been doing is we've been playing spiritual hide and seek. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> yeah. I'm extremely aware of love, so much love, um, so much love from God towards us and then our love towards each other. And um, I just want to honor each one of you uh, for being here tonight in this group. And um, yeah, I just, I just feel this, this incredible sense of unity and oneness. I totally agree. I feel your love and I hope you feel my love, everybody. So I don't know if this is out of line to ask, but I'd like to, since we're in this state, ask if anybody's willing, if I can picture myself there to um, heal me. I don't think it's important that, you know what, just have the intention to do that in the spirit. And I believe our higher selves could do that kind of thing. Is anybody willing to, to let me visit you now with that intention? I'm there with yes. you. Yes, oh yes, right. come on. For your healing. You thank you. We're, oh, thank you. All right, let's go. Yes. The hay area needs help, but I'm just believing for anything really bad that I don't want to go. That's good enough. Thank you. Right before you shared, when Lisa was talking about the love, I just felt like mm -hmm. the frequency shift to like, like the obviously the highest frequency. I just felt the frequency just shift incredibly. And then I felt like it almost like I got these subtle tingles all over. Right. But very subtle, like it's, it's like deep frequencies. And then I kind of felt like I'm 
in like honey. And so I was thinking how Michelle always talks about the healing and preserving properties that it, it doesn't rot or go old. And so I felt like I was in that honey love or, you know, love honey. So it's the perfect time for you to make that request or suggestion. And also, I just want to invite you all to my porch. <laughs> um, I'm sitting outside on the porch at the moment. I actually got up and walked here because I know that I know that I know that God has anointed this place for healing. And um, so I really want to invite you onto this porch. Jesus is here. And um, there's definitely a flow of incredible healing so Debbie I welcome you here and um, in spirit um, and in unity we just declare healing to you in any aspect in every aspect of your life inside and outside in your physical being in your emotions and in your spirits wherever you may need uh, restoration or healing I call forth the beginning I call forth your purpose I call forth that that which God has created for you that that which God has saw for you and planned for you the visions that he had for you I call it forth and I make it a reality for you and I just lay my hands on you in the spirits and I just declare healing to you in the name of Jesus and I just declare healing to you just for who you are that you will go forth in purpose you will go forth in in who you are designed and created to be. These things will be left behind. You will no longer carry them. It's burdens that you can just cast away and just put down before God. Powerful, wow. There's quite an oil or anointing flowing. Anyone could receive this. I'm there too. and. Uh... I was agreeing with you in prayer, Debbie. Thank you. I almost feel like I've been on the cross and like I've just been taken off. Wow. Same here. I with you, Debbie. Lisa, as we're on your porch there, I'm seeing several of us on the porch there. And two of the people, the Lord has just shown me to lay hands on those two people and release a freshness over them because they've been battling with something that's really bothering them. And it's like the Lord always wants to unstick it. The Spirit of the Lord just shows me, just pull that thing off and pull it off and i'm pulling it off two people right now so if you experience something strange happening to you um where it's gonna you know, stands like sort of your whole body feeling like little pins and needles as something gets pulled off you just receive it and let the spirit of the lord wash over you right now you can share us later who it was I feel like, like one of them is me, Dimitri. You were one of them? I just, yeah, I witnessed with that too, Eloisa. Eloisa, I just want to draw your daughter in here as well. Thank you, Zoe. And and Eloise, I see your whole family with us. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> um, I feel yeah. like I'm in a healing pool, you know, of God's love and grace and mercy and healing. Yes, that's what we need. Thank you. 
I also see like the spoil just being poured over their heads. So just they're standing and this heavenly oil of healing and of, of union and restoring their souls to a union. Um, and I, I specifically see one person who's, who's a, a young man and he's just standing there and this oil of heaven is just pouring over him. Oh, so beautiful. Thank you very much, everyone. So beautiful, yes. I think that might be your brother, Eloisa. Thank you very much. Yeah. That's what my last night I'm praying. I'm about them. So I, I imagine all of them that they're whole and safe. So yeah, I it's the it's confirmation for my answer to my prayer last night. Thank you very much, everyone. That's I'm gonna believe for my daughter to be here too. Yes, and my whole family. Thank you, Lord. I feel like it's just easing us all in, not only us, but our bloodline, you know, and probably others outside of our bloodline. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, everyone. I so, so, so agree with that. Um, it's like um, the first thought that came, came to mind is I need to extend, extend my porch. <laughs> Um, but yes. the next moment I saw, I just saw that, um, um, I think, um, it was Justin Paul Abrams that talks about, um, Baratesh, Bara, calling to the beginning. What is that word? Barashit. Um, Barashit, yes. Calling back to the beginning to say, but this is not what I planned for you. Let me show you what I have planned for you, what I have spoken over you, what I have called you to be what I have proclaimed you to be, what your mission is in this world, what your destiny is, what your purpose is in this world, um, what your heart is created to be. So we call all those people to this place and we just say, thank you, Lord, for your healing, your healing rivers and your healing water and your healing oil just to saturate every part of our beings for ourselves, for our, our, um, our bloodlines in the past and in the in the future. We just thank you, Lord, that we can swim into your um, your healing power and your um, your healing grace and mercy and your goodness and your loving kindness. And that when we rise from here, we will be healed and we will bring healing because what we have received, we will give. Ooh, that was excellent. Yes, Lord. So I see the focus changing a little bit now um, from healing to uh, specific people are being handed scrolls that they've always had. But I feel like um, I see the Lord and, a, and an angel doing this. Um, but it's more to to like remind you, you know, I have given you a scroll that is alive and vibrant and to receive it. You know, the scroll, the scrolls I see are uh, uh, like, uh, you know, vibrating and colors are coming off of them. And, and so uh, I would say anybody who, uh, is at Liza's, you know, uh, feeling the need uh, for healing. Uh, and this does include extended family to um, just receive them and take them and know that they are there, they've never left, but it's more to get, like I said, your attention and your focus on that and to know you're not forgotten. You know, your, your path is wide open. And Yeshua and the angels are present. They always have been. And to um, know that you can walk that path in confidence, healed with your I see everybody like putting their like their chin up, <laughs> like that's right. We we've got this. This is what I, who I am. This is 
We are royalty. Kings and priests. Yes, and I see chains that's being um, disintegrated. It just falls to the wayside. It's like as if they were focused on the chains. The next moment as they focus on God, the chains just fall away. They are no longer in bondage. They are absolutely set free so that they can travel with God to wherever he takes them, to wherever he leads them, to their destiny, to their purpose, to their absolute um to the calling that God has called them to. They hear their voice, they, they hear their, 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 their names being called and they resonate with it and they, they run towards it. Just before you shared, um, Jill, I saw the same thing that you said that there was an adjustment. And to me, it was like a, the broadening of the atmosphere of the spirit realm that we were in because we were with Lisa but it was, it was a point where we think there was an increase of people being drawn in, family members, and I could see Dimitri's children, and I could see my children and my grandchildren, my husband, and I could see, you know, the, us coming into this place together where the oil was flowing. But then as you, just before you said that, Joel, the exact same thing came to my mind that this was about a restoration of the scroll of each person. And it was um, being, we were drawn into a, 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 a greater dimension in the spirit together. And, and so in this greater dimension of the spirit, we've been speaking these things about the scroll. And, and our family members are hearing it and are being drawn into it right now in this moment. I agree totally. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I, I witnessed to that as well. I, I also witnessed to that because just before you spoke, um, Jill, I actually saw a scroll with the word soza written on it, which is the Greek word for salvation. And it means to be set free, to be made whole and complete. And I believe that is what the scroll, each person was given that scroll to tell them they are delivered made whole and complete. Yeah, I just want to add on that scroll what, what, what I was seeing was that where, where destinies had been robbed and stolen that we are in this place at the moment where these things have been spoken about the oil and the words have been spoken of, of, of your identity destiny it was like these scrolls are being restored it's like I can see them I can, I can see us in this atmosphere or this realm like together and I, and everyone is it, it's being they're being reminded or um carried into a moment in god of for the restoration of their scrolls their destiny scrolls that where it's been stolen where they've gone on a little different direction where they've become discouraged and going a different place, you know, it, it's, I just, I can just see it being restored in this moment. I thought I saw my daughter show up before when I mentioned her, actually, it seemed like she just showed up. It's like we're on someone's front porch. I want to say the house is white. I have to agree with you, Michelle, on all that you said. And thank you, Lord, for all of this that you're revealing to us and helping us to realize. Believing it. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you. I'm just so aware of the angels laughing, and they're so incredibly excited. <laughs> I'm also seeing uh, every one of our children or children's children, uh, you know, because it's family here, um, just like being crowned again. Like just, I can just see my little grandchildren with these little crowns on just sitting there. Oh, me too. And I thought about um, Linda's yeah. grandchild, the one yeah. that's been going through such difficulty, just being crowned. Yeah. Yes, I do too. Place. Every family here. Same thing is happening with us, all of us. Yeah, and Dimitri, your 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 beautiful daughter Daniele. Hmm. Yeah.
in fact, I must say that as I saw the crown on her, I just saw like, I've never seen something like this before, but it looked like tears were, were um, falling from the base of the crown all around her. And I just felt such a sense of tender compassion in, in, in the scroll of Danielle. Michelle, I can confirm with that because I saw what looked like these blue, like, like drops, you know, I, I saw that right before you said that. So I can confirm that. And I saw over yes. my granddaughter, Lily, that she had a crown on that was multidimensional colors and the drops coming from her were also the multidimensional and that she had a sound mind. So beautiful. I don't know how to describe it, but. I just thank God for this. Thank you. Yeah, that sound mind really resonated with me. So we declare a sound mind to each one of the people that was drawn into this place tonight. A sound mind that they will know God and that they will know who they are in God. We just declare that and we just speak it out to them that they will know it. Amen. 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 I'm going to just put myself out there for a second. I have a sibling who's gone through extremely beyond a tough time. Um, and um, just curious if you guys, a brother, just curious if you guys would see anything around him at all. Arabella, I actually do see something, but I'm just trying to get clarity on it. Uh, seeing that there's sort of um, a heavy depression that's been on him recently, and like this darkness that's been following him. And I'm seeing that darkness being replaced by golden light. Thank you. I have a Thank confirmation you. on that. I have a confirmation. I saw the back of a bride with the thing that, that, that hangs off of their dress. What is that called? A veil, but it was a white veil and light was shining on it. That was the first thing I saw when you mentioned your brother. The Thank light, you. the whiteness and the purity. Thank you. Arabella, when you mentioned your brother, I saw him like wearing white uh, polo shirts, uh, but he's like hiding, like he's shy. I don't know. It's like he's not fully confident to himself that he needs some prayer. Yes. Arabella, just want to, um... Lisa, on your porch, as, I, as we've been standing on your porch, I just want to describe what I was seeing as well. I was seeing it's on a sort of slight slope that goes down and there's a bit of a slope behind, uh, up behind you. And I actually saw that you, as you're sitting on your porch there, you've actually got a bit of a view, but it's, there seems to be something that's blocking the view on the one side. And I'm just seeing that that is being opened up in the spirit dimension over that area. And like I literally saw the seven spirits of the Lord forming a rainbow over that whole um view you have as you look out on your porch and it's like that rainbow was like a had colors in between them that were multi-dimensional and it was like there was just as we were there there was a saturation of the atmosphere over the area i just want to agree with all of that and yes there's a slope and yes there's a blockage on the one side and um, it's actually got beautiful views with the mountain and the felt and stuff. Um, but I know that this property is God's property. And he said to me, it's his. So I'm in the process of asking him, what would you like me to do with it? And one of the things, Arabella, that I just want to mention is um, I don't have any relationship with my brother whatsoever. He was a drug addict and um, he had... Uh, 
various things with his mind. He's schizophrenic and who knows what else. And the Lord said that um, I need to build him a house here. So we're building him a house. So if you ever want your brother to come, yeah, he is more than welcome. I'll building, build him a house as well for him and his family. Um, so just say the word. For some reason, I just feel like it's completely open, but it's, it's God's property. It's, it's his place. Thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you. It's beautiful. So I want to say that I really feel the love on this live stream and that doesn't normally happen to me. Not lately anyway, but I mean, I feel it in so many of the women, I mean, everyone, but it's really here and it's just, you know, you guys are really special. That's all I have to say. You really are. I agree. Everyone is. Baby, I just want to say, um, live in health not in healing live in health so just draw that towards you every single day just draw it towards you and say i am health i am in health and i can uh give health because what i have received i can give i agree with that fully that's good yeah i agree with that that's so good yeah we must always remember we walk in divine health. We don't need to be healed. We have been healed. And as we embrace divine health, we embrace immortality. Sometimes when things are extreme, we need a little help, you know, seeing the way. Yes, uh, I, I understand that. Um, but the more we meditate and dwell on the fact that we are walking in divine health, irrespective of how our circumstance, our situation, or where we are looks like, and as we embrace that reality of having been made complete and whole and perfect in him, and we embrace the, the reality that it has been done on our behalf, we start to change the actual material substance of our bodies. Oh, I understand that. But it's like saying, you know, if somebody was just run over by a bulldozer and they were hanging on by a thread, it, they'd need a little help, you know? You know what I mean, people. <laughs> that's so funny. I understand yes. that. Really. That's, that's what we... That's why we as the body are there to encourage each other. Because if one part of the body is hurting, the whole body hurts. And that's where love and compassion and being sensitive to the spirit is. As we see you in that wholeness, I'm encouraging you to see yourself in the fullness and the wholeness. And we are believing with you for the completion of that sozo that I saw written on the scrolls, which is made whole complete in him i also see you debbie all of a sudden while dimitri was speaking that i kind of saw you in this like white um like uh race type of thing with like a red uh emblem on 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 the um your on the dress um and um what 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 came to me was an expression of of healing through you um i don't know what your your what's in your scroll or your and what's written there about you but what i saw was like you know almost like if you look at florence nightingale that kind of a thing only it was in the spirit and it was in with understanding of the capacity i am well i am healed i am whole and i am a healer does that resonate uh, yeah, I'm going to have to ponder on that a bit more. Okay. 
Thank you. Um, just as a prophetic um, word, what Michelle just said to you, um, Debbie, is you are receiving not just healing, but health and wellness, and you will be able to give it to others. So instead of pondering just on it, take it for yourself and say the yes, I agree with this. I take it for myself. And yes, I will give healing to others because I have freely received healing. And um, I really do believe that you are healed, not healed, that you are in health and wellness and wholeness for everything that you need to do because all these things usually distract us it keeps us one side. Um, it keeps us busy with things that are not of God. And he wants us 100% focused on him. And to be 100% focused on him, he removes all these small little things that we see as big things. And he removes it from us. And he brings us into a place where we can travel and we can go to places and we can be any age in any time. Um, I don't have the words for it, but that's what I feel in my spirit. Just Thank to you. say a clarity for you too, Debbie, is that it's like we all receive this. We all receive the promise that by the stripes of Yeshua, we were healed. We received the promise. However, because we are so beautifully individual, um, there's such a love relationship, and we don't, we don't just stand on the promise. The promise is like foundational. Out of that promise that we agree with, then we walk our walk with Yahweh, with Jesus and Father and Holy Spirit in getting the insights, the understanding, the revelation specifically for us that would manifest that reality in us. And that's what we then also can share with others too. Yes, and I'd like to add to that beautiful uh, soliloquy is relationship. So that's what I've come to the steps of is is doing this throughout with my life with relationship because you know there's so many steps to these things that we either been taught or that's within us so relationship so as a reality base of understanding for me that's how I receive that I am healed by his stripes or any other thing that God wants to teach and train me yes and just to add to that there are also so many ways in which we may experience that, the well-being, so many ways. So there's no limit to the ways that we could experience the well-being from Yohan. I have a testimony of that because recently I've experienced different ways in which healing is manifested. So, yeah, we're not on a formula. No, there is no formula. It's each one of us receives as we perceive you. I agree 100%. The one thing that uh, God has spoken to me about, about a lot in the, in the last time is uh, we should not just look to what Jesus did. We will do more than what he did. Uh, we are limited by saying we need to walk on water. What about growing gills and, and swimming through the water or flying over the water or whatever we need to stop limiting ourselves we need to open ourselves up to him to such an extent to say lord wherever you go i go wherever you want me i'll be i just want to be close to you in you be part of you just use me lord um so in a sense it's 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 like when we think about what we can possibly do we limit and we need to start breaking free of that and just say, Lord, I'm in you. You are in me. I just want to commune with you, have time with you, spend time with you and just be with you. You can do the rest through me. I resonate with that. We must always remember as he is, not as he was on the earth, as he is right now, so are we. I also want to say um, this last week, I've seen um, 
so many, uh, can I say, answers to prayer that was for about two years ago, three years ago. <clears throat> and I've seen his absolute faithful, faithfulness in the biggest and the smallest things. But I, it, it's almost like I told God, my love language is manifestation. <laughs> my personal love language is I want to I want to see it. I want to see the manifestation of his goodness and our relationship. And that is what I have received in the, in the last, all, I, all I'm saying is just take what has happened tonight and really run with it and say, thank you, Lord. And yes, Lord. And we agree, Lord. And we will see the manifestation of this. That's good. Thank you. Anybody else have anything? Or shall we wrap it up? Um, just sensing a shift again in the spirit, as if the Lord is just released and saying, now ponder and dwell on that which you have experienced tonight and bring it into the reality of your own being. Anybody got anything else they want to share before we wrap up the evening? I just sensed us all in oneness, like with a hum or a sound that we're making together. And that is usually uh, a supernatural gift or a supernatural gift in my body. When I'm somewhere else and there's people gathering, I'm usually one of the first ones that says it's time to go. Y'all gather your things, talking to my people that I'm with. And it's, it's also happening in the spirit realm where everything has come into oneness. And it's like the key that it, we, could, we could leave now. So I don't know if that makes any sense. <laughs> Uh, the yeah, yeah I've, that, I feel... that frequency of humming is also the frequency of the um, energy gate for the spirit of the Lord. It's that resonating low frequency with the thunder rumbling we heard in the right, Michelle heard right in the beginning. That's like that humming. It's that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that we're all, all on the same frequency. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Someone else said something? Amen. Yes, um, I totally agree. And I keep hearing the words like, I'm not giving you the spirit of fear, but power of love, good and sound mind. That's all. Thank you all. That's good.